all right guys welcome back to the channel uh in today's video i wanted to just kind of teach you guys about overall bike control i get so many questions about how to get better at riding how to get better at bmx how to progress faster a lot of people will start trying to do very advanced tricks before they have the fundamentals down so in today's video we're just going to go over the fundamentals learn how to control balance and manipulate the bike uh, using different muscles so yeah let's just get right into it one of the first things i see people do when they first get on a bmx bike or a mountain bike or or any type of bike you know made to do tricks uh is is the the foot positioning will immediately be wrong i'll see people sit on their bikes and one foot will be super high up in the air and the other one will be super low and this is a very impractical position right having one foot up and one foot down automatically sets you off balance uh, i personally ride with my left foot in front if it's your right foot in forward that's that's fine whatever it's just really just a preference thing whichever foot you decide to have in front and whichever foot you decide to have in the back you want to create a platform that you can stand on you can get down compress push off of so in order to do this it's it's simply just making our feet flat um, and this is going to translate into everything we do when we start bunny hopping us doing certain tricks we need our feet to be level it, it just balancing overall you know it's, especially uh, the manual we have to apply a lot of pressure downward onto our feet and, and onto our tires and we're able to do that when we create this nice even flat platform with our feet right here so this is something you can do just standing up against a wall standing up against a pole like i am here uh, and really just mess around and play with it right we can get down we can whoa <laughs> Little windy out. So once we have our feet nice and level, we can practice squatting down, standing up. And, and when you guys are doing this, really feel the weight in your feet, right? Feel your ability to spring up and down and keep your feet nice and balanced. At, at first, you're gonna feel a little shaky. You, you might find that it doesn't feel completely stable. But as you progress and you start to stand like this more and more, it'll become natural. It'll become just like standing on the ground regularly. So yeah, find something solid to stand up against. Practice applying pressure, really pushing into the ground. Because um, this is going to help you all the way through. Like I said, this is something that uh, even me, when I'm learning and, and new tricks and I'm practicing things, I have to remind myself, uh, just balance applying pressure to one side of the bike or the other side of the bike. Uh, and, and like I said, that overall fundamental bike control that we're trying to learn here so we get into more advanced tricks like manualing uh having that level platform and being able to apply pressure into our feet it's crucial for being able to stabilize our bike the more weight that you're able to carry in your feet uh, the easier it's going to be for you to keep your bike in one solid position uh, bunny hop in and out of these manuals and like i said this this flat level platform it's going to carry you all the way through now that we understand our foot positioning we're going to stand up and we're just going to practice applying different amounts of weight into our hands and our wrists and our feet. Uh, there's certain maneuvers on our bike that are gonna require us to be a little bit more forward on the bike and have more weight in our wrists and our hands. For instance, when I do nose manuals, I'd say about 90% of my weight is in my arms and only about 10% of my feet. Um, so uh, it's important for us to understand how having weight in our shoulders and our arms is also gonna help us manipulate and move the bike. All right, guys, now that we understand our body positioning on our bike, it's time to start exploring with different movements uh, in that position, right? We have our level flat platform with our feet. We have some weight in our hands. We're just gonna practice moving around, applying some weight, squatting up and down, carving back and forth, um, just really getting an overall sense of how the bike feels and how it feels to move on the bike. So I'm just gonna carve back and forth up and down this path and kind of talk to you guys about what I'm doing. As we're carving back and forth, we're gonna squat low and just practice pumping around, right? Feeling how the bike moves, pumping with our legs, squatting up and down. This is a way that I use to kind of generate speed while riding street. Harder, the more vigorous we pump, the more speed we'll gain. We could also practice applying more weight to our feet than our hands, almost pulling back slightly on the handlebars. This is the fundamentals of how we start the manual. And also practice keeping a little bit more weight in our hands feeling how it feels be a little light in the feet another thing we can kind of work on uh, is the beginnings of bunny hopping and overall just jumping in general is as we have that level platform with our feet we can practice applying pressure to our feet and slowly pulling that front wheel up feeling how it feels to lift the front wheel off the ground and keep that level platform with our feet again i know this might seem extremely basic some of you but 
these fundamentals, uh, keeping the weight in the right place, uh, applying pressure, staying balanced, using your core, they're gonna help you all the way through to some of the most advanced tricks. All right, now that you feel comfortable, you feel balanced, you've spent some time in a parking lot just kind of carving around, messing with weight distribution, keeping that even platform with your feet, we're ready to take it to the next step. We're gonna roll into the, this pump track right here. We're gonna talk about how we utilize that balance that we've just learned and use that to create and generate speed uh, by pumping. All right, so the main thing, we wanna keep that level platform with our feet and we wanna stay compressed. The more we stay compressed, the easier it's gonna be for us to generate speed. So as we're coming into the rollers, we're letting the bike come to us. The bike is coming into me and I'm staying low. And when I get to the back side, I'm able to use that compression push down on the roller. That's how I'm able to generate speed. And you'll watch on this next one, I'll stand up straight. You'll instantly see, now that I'm straight, I have no momentum, and I almost come to a complete stop. But all it takes is just getting a little bit lower, using that compression, pushing down on the backside with our arms and our legs. It's easy movement, and we can generate speed. Now when we're coming into our turn, just dropping our shoulder and leaning in. It's kind of scary at first, but if you lean in, your tires will grab and come right around. So just remember, stay compressed, push down on the back sides, keep that level platform with our feet, and don't forget to use your arms. Use your whole body to pump and generate speed. Nice and easy. Dropping our shoulders, boom, right into the turn. Now we got tons of speed. And come get a little jump out right here. Oh. <laughs> guys that's going to wrap it up for today's video uh just remember bmx is a full body sport right we're using every single muscle in our body from our fingertips all the way down to our toes pretty much every muscle in between face neck see me always making crazy faces when i'm riding i don't know that it actually helps but you know i like to think that it does if you're ever stuck on a trick you can always film yourself 
and kind of figure out what you're doing wrong, usually it's because you aren't applying the right amount of pressure to the right part of your bike. And that's with tricks all the way up to the most advanced level. So just remember, practice these fundamentals, have fun with it, don't take it too serious. Um, I'm gonna continue making these how-tos. They're gonna get more progressive as, as time goes on, but I just really want you guys to understand you know, the basics of, of how to ride a bike. <laughs>